In this video, I'm going to show you the steps necessary to download the database credential file in order to make a secure connection to your autonomous transaction processing database. Once you've provisioned your autonomous transaction processing database, you're going to want to connect to it. And all connections to an autonomous database are encrypted, which means you'll need to download a security wallet file with your database credentials before you can make such a connection. The wallet is going to include your SQLnet.ora and TNSNames.ora files, a Java key store, and other relevant files to make a secure connection to your database. To begin downloading your credentials, click on your Autonomous Transaction Processing Database name. This is going to open the detailed screen for your instance, and it's going to have links at the top there or, or tabs for the service console, the ability to scale up and down your instance, change the admin password, restore this instance from a previous backup, stop the instance, or terminate it altogether. But in order to get your credential files, we need to click on the service console. Now you're going to need to log in here to the console and you're going to use the admin user and the password that you created when you created this instance originally or provisioned the instance originally. What it's going to open up for you is the database console that starts with an overview screen. You can also look at the current activities on your instance, but since we have only just provisioned our instance, uh, there's no activity yet. So in order to be able to connect to it, let's click on the admin tab and then we are going to click on download client credentials. This is going to download a zip file, as I said, that contains all of the security credentials we're going to need to be able to connect to our autonomous transaction processing database. Now we're going to need to supply a password as part of this. Um, this password is going to be used when we are going to want to use the um, secure connections. And I'll show you that in the next video in this series. Once you've inserted your password and confirmed your password, simply hit download. And what you'll see happening is a wallet file, uh, which is a zip file, is automatically downloaded for you in your browser. If we simply double click on that, it'll go ahead and extract that so we can take a quick look inside it. It's not actually necessary to unzip the wallet file in order to make a secure connection, but I've just unzipped it here so that we can take a peep inside. Um, you can see that we've got a sqlnet.ora as well as a tnsnames.ora file. There's also the Java key store file, as I spoke about, and other files required to make that secure connection to our autonomous database. But now that we have our wallet, we are ready to make that connection. You can get more information about the Oracle Autonomous Transaction Processing Database and other features and functionality of Oracle Database 18C on my blog, sqlmaria.com, or by following me on either Twitter or Facebook.